In this video, I'm going to work several homework problems. I've asked you to do 1 through 21 odd in your textbook. I won't do 2 through 20 even, but I'll do several problems that are like the problems in that group. I've also asked you to do 25 through 41 odd. Again, I'm not going to work 26 through 42, all even problems, but I'll work one or two so that you can see problems like the ones you're asked to do. Let's get started. On page 78, I've asked you to do problems 1 through 21 odd. The first group of problems, 1 through 8. So you'll do 1, 3, 5, and 7. I'm going to do 2 and 8. Let's start by drawing the number line that we are asked to draw in this problem. We should draw a number line that extends from negative 5 to 5. We'll just do this by hand, drawing a straight line with an arrow at either end and then adding a few marks to indicate where our numbers are. I'm keeping these a little closer together than I did in my video about the number line because I know that I need to get up to at least 5 to the right of 0 and at least negative 5 to the left of 0. Fortunately, I've only been asked to go from negative 5 up to positive 5. So there's the first part of the problem. Now I need to label the points with the following coordinates. In question number two, those coordinates are negative two. Let's plot negative two on the number line. Here's negative two. I'll just put a dot right on top of it. The other number I've been asked to label is nine fourths. This is a little trickier Unless you can think of each space between two numbers as being made up of a certain number of fourths. Here's 0 to 1 as 1, 2, 3, 4 fourths. If I break up the next unit on the number line into 1, 2, 3, 4 fourths, and the next one again, then I can count my way up in fourths. How many fourths are there in 9 fourths? Well, here are 1, 2, 3, 4 fourths. Let's keep counting. 5, 6, 7, 8 fourths. And one more fourth puts me at 9 fourths. So the number 9 fourths is located here on the number line. The number 9 fourths can be labeled on the number line just like a whole number can. If you didn't like that method, here's something else you could try. Nine fourths is like saying nine divided by four. On your calculator, if you do nine divided by four, you'll get the answer 2.25. Can you plot 2.25 on the number line? Well, here's one. Here's 2, and here's 2 and a quarter, or 2.25. Either method will work just fine. 